Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So I'm going to give a little tutorial on IntelliCode and how to disable it or enable it, the different features within it, as well as a quick little description about it and why I want to actually disable it. Maybe you have the same reasons, maybe your reasons are different, but let's hop into it. So what is IntelliCode? So IntelliCode it helps to drive accuracy and consistency with uh, code completion. So it'll help fill out different lines of codes or different parts of codes and it will learn uh, sort of as an AI would. Uh, basically it is an AI that will detect your code contacts and then it'll help your writing. So why would you want to turn something like this off? Uh, basically if I'm doing coding like I am now I'll get different pop-up boxes so some will be maybe two or three lines uh, if I'm putting something into a paragraph and it'll cover up the top what I'm trying to read or sometimes, you know, if I uh, have like this uh, here, if I had like that off uh, and sometimes if you go back up here, you know, it might put private in front here uh, where I won't want it if I type up here. And of course, it's not going to enter it unless I hit enter or hit tab or uh, whatever it is. It's going to be tab, I believe. Uh, and if I click off, then it'll go back. But I don't want things to be, you know, moving around or doing things or stuff to be popping up if I don't want them to be. And there's no need for me to actually have it on as I do have other means to actually fill out those sentences. So basically how you turn this off is you come up here to tools and you come down to options and then you'll come down to IntelliCode here open this up and then general I want these off so I'm going to turn these off now you can choose and pick which ones you want off which ones you want to keep uh, let's see advanced I'm going to keep that on for advanced there and then what you do is just hit OK and then it's off so it's not going to fill anything in for me so if I put it here no private's going to pop up if I uh, go here sometimes you know if you've been deleting a whole bunch of private uh, then if you go here, it'll pop up tab and it'll be like hit tab to close it. Well, I could just actually just hit backspace, you know, and do that, uh, delete it. Uh, and then I don't actually have that uh, box up above it. There's different reasons why you may want to actually turn it off. So to turn it back on, it's going to be almost the exact same thing, except there's different ways. So if it doesn't actually turn completely off, you can actually just close Visual Studios and then reopen it. And that's what you want to do to actually turn it back on uh, if it's not turning on. And there is another trick here. So I'd come up here and I'd turn all these on. Here, let me just uh, show you all for this uh, demonstration. So basically, I'd come here and then, you know, uh, it's not fully on. So if it doesn't work after a small period of time, you close this, open it for uh, Visual Studios. Now, the key is that it is an AI and it will have to actually learn and detect your code context. Uh, it's not going to know right away what I want. I have to actually teach it. So, you know, I could go private. And then, uh, so now it's private. So maybe it might have learned. No, not yet. So let's uh, do a couple more here. Let's go down here. So right here. So you see, it just learned that I want private here. And then I could just hit, you know, tab. Uh, and so this is like what I was talking about with the box here. But normally, sometimes there will be two, two up, or maybe it's one. Uh, and if you're trying to write paragraphs like down below in different uh, columns, it will like just block out what you're trying to read above, or if you're trying to, you know, think about certain things, it'll come. But so you see how it learned. So that's basically what it is. It'll learn uh, what I I want or what I don't want. Uh, so I just deleted it. I don't want this back. So you know why would it? Put it there and you know it won't actually put it there until i actually hit tab but that's basically what it is and i don't actually want it uh just for my preference uh your preference may be different uh, you know you can teach it you can train it to code how you want and i can see it actually being a really good tool it's just for my preference i i just simply don't want it so i'm just going to turn it off there and so that's a little tutorial here on IntelliCode and how to turn it off and turn it on. Like I said, if it doesn't turn on right away, just close uh, and restart Visual Studios. Uh, and so hopefully this helped. If it did, leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you all next time.